let's dive right into all things Gemini Advanced. Google's latest and greatest model, also known as Google's Gemini Ultra and previously referred to as Gemini Advanced, or simply BART. It's being hailed as the first legitimate competitor to GPT-4, with some benchmarks even suggesting it performs slightly better. The term GPT-4 killer has been thrown around, especially on Twitter, but now we have a model that lives up to the hype. But what does this mean in practice? Is it truly superior to GPT-4? And perhaps most importantly, how much does it cost and where can you get it? We've spent hours experimenting and scouring the internet for information to answer all these questions and more. So buckle up as we delve deep into the world of Gemini Advanced. Let's start by untangling the web of names because, let's be honest, it's a bit of a maze. What used to be Google's B is now known as Gemini Advanced, powered by the Gemini Ultra 1.0 model. This version, although not the full-fledged model promised earlier, is still quite impressive. To access it, you'll need to subscribe to Google's AI Premium Plan, also known as CAT GPT Plus by OpenAI. The cost? $1.20 a month in the US, $1.22 a month in Europe, available in 150 countries although not everywhere. Some users have reported difficulty signing up due to high demand, so patience might be needed. Also, it's worth noting that work accounts linked to Google Workspace might not work. You may need to use a personal account. Here's the kicker. They're offering two months free, a competitive advantage over GPT-4. Signing up is straightforward. Head to Gemini.com, sign in with your Google account, subscribe to the AI Premium Plan and enjoy your two free months. After a few disclaimers, you'll find yourself at Gemini Advanced, similar to GPT-4. Now, let's talk performance. Benchmarks show Gemini Advanced to be on par with, if not slightly better than, GPT-4. But benchmarks only tell part of the story. What matters is real-world use. So, I put Gemini Advanced to the test with my go-to prompts, writing essays about penguins and generating images. As a power user, my subjective impression is that Gemini Advanced is indeed comparable to GPT-4, but with a more user-friendly interface. It feels like riding a bike with training wheels compared to GPT-4's more seasoned rider vibe. However, there are certain features missing that I frequently use and love. Let's delve into those one by one. Let's start by testing Gemini Advanced with a basic prompt, an essay about penguins. What's immediately noticeable is the speed. It's blazing fast, even faster than GPT-4, almost rivaling the pace of 3.5. Impressive, right? Now, on to the flavor of the text. It's a bit different from what I'm used to with GPT. Over time, I've developed a sort of sixth sense for spotting GPT-generated text, but this feels distinct. It's like riding a capable bike with training wheels. It's there to help you along the way. One standout feature is its helpfulness. Before diving into the essay, Gemini Advanced sets expectations. It's a starting point, not the final result. This tutor-like approach is refreshing, especially for learners. Ethan Mick's article delves into the emergent behaviours of Gemini Advanced, likening it to a helpful tutor rather than an executive assistant like GPT-4. It's an insightful read if you're interested in the nuances. Now, on to practical features. Gemini Advanced introduces a double-checking function using Google Search. It's a game-changer for research, ensuring accuracy by cross-referencing information. The richness of the interface might seem overwhelming at first, but it offers more user-friendly options like varying styles and lengths effortlessly. Voice input is another highlight. While I've been using the ChatGPT app for voice interactions, Gemini Advanced comes with built-in voice input, making conversations more natural and fluent. 
It's a convenient addition that I anticipate OpenAI will adopt soon. As we wrap up, let's discuss the direction of Gemini Advanced and OpenAI in light of this competition. But before we do, let's cover any final differences you should know. Let's discuss some of the limitations of Gemini Advanced because, let's face it, no model is perfect. One glaring omission is the lack of a code interpreter, a feature I frequently relied on. While Google mentioned it might come later, it's not available at the moment. Another difference lies in the image model. It's not DAL-E like with OpenAI. Sure, it initially struggled, but after simplifying and removing text, it managed to generate an image of a cat with a hat. However, DAL-E might have the edge here, though it's subjective. Then there's the absence of GPT's headbots, a feature I found quite useful for setting up preset instructions and actions. While this might come with time, it's missing for now. Context length is another consideration. I couldn't find exact information online, so I ran a simple experiment. Starting with a prompt about my name followed by multiple essay prompts, I noticed the model forgot my name after a while. Analyzing the conversation, it turned out to be around 4,100 tokens, similar to GPT-4. In a more complex test using a prompt generator for growth hacking scenarios, Gemini Advanced performed admirably. It handled intricate prompts better than other weaker models, even surpassing models like Llama 70B. So while it has its limitations, Gemini Advanced emerges as a worthy competitor to GPT-4, offering a promising alternative for various use cases. To sum it up, Gemini Advanced may lack a few features compared to GPT-4, but it still offers some minor advantages, and overall, it's a solid choice. Plus, you can try it out for free for two months, which is a pretty sweet deal. One thing worth noting is the perks that BART, its predecessor, had over GPT-4. Integrations with Google Flights, Google Maps, YouTube, and other Google services offer convenience, especially for tasks like travel planning and accessing YouTube data. As for where OpenAI is headed, it's clear they're focusing on autonomous agents with projects like AutoGPTs and Baby AGIs. This direction sets them apart from Gemini Advanced, which aims to be more of a helpful tutor than just an assistant. With the integration of multimodal functionalities and collaboration with Google's ecosystem, Gemini Advanced opens up new possibilities, making it a strong competitor to GPT-4. Competition is healthy, and it'll likely push OpenAI to release more innovative features sooner. So, if you're interested in staying updated on these developments, make sure you subscribe to stay in the loop. If you're interested to learn more about the world of AI, check out the video on your screen. I'll be waiting there. See you.